Well, welcome back to my morning pop analysis videos with me, Richard Permark at MS at Hand Tech Markets on Tuesday, 26th of Feb. Let's have a look at cable, which has moved to the upside. We had that um, announcement from the Labour Party that will, they will be sort of moving towards backing a second referendum. Um, and that sort of, again changes the, uh, changes the game a little bit on Brexit. Um, opens up the possibility of Remain, actually, UK remaining in the European Union again, certainly if we had a second referendum, that uh, is a distinct possibility. Um, and so subsequently, Sterling has gained ground on the back of that. Um, positive counter yesterday started to pull clear again of that 30-50 uh, uh, pivot line. And uh, we're now up towards challenging 31.60 this morning. Hit that uh, as a little reaction high and just drop back a touch. But that reaction high that we saw back in uh, in late Jan. But 32.15 is the big resistance, uh, on, certainly on a near to medium term basis, um, sort of pulling up towards the top of the, um, of the uh, range that we've had on cable since June, July last year. Um, so uh, it looks like this is um, Sterling taking a bit of a bit of more of a decisive view on Brexit once more, having had that sort of consolidation we saw last week. Market is up 60 pips now on the day and it looking pretty positive on the momentum indicators, RSI mid 60s, MACD lines having crossed higher above neutral, which is a very positive signal. Um, and stochastics in strong configuration and rising as well. So all pretty good. So buying into weakness, um, you had that little breakout of 31.11. You could say 31.11 down to 30.90. Um, 3080, 3090 uh, sort of breakout levels of recent days. So you've got an, actually got a nice sort of 20, 30 pit band of, of support actually in there, um, 3080 to 3110 uh, as a little buying opportunity if this market does unwind. F around sort of 40, 35, uh, sorry, around 45 to 50 seems to be an area where the RSI picks up now. Uh, you've got strong configuration also in MACD lines and stochastics on the hourly. So it's all pretty well put, set up for buying it into any sort of un, uh, intraday unwind. But uh, it certainly looks as though the market is ready to test above 31.60, push towards 32.15. Uh, and uh, as I said, that starts to get into the top of the range. So I wish you good luck in trading. I'll speak to you later.